Duck Lamb, one. Nine one one, breaking news special. We have three terrorists that have uh, infiltrated the country, and they are on the loose. But I have obtained exclusive photos of the three terrorists that are here to carry out nine one one operations against Americans. I'll just bring them up here real quick, get it over with. There they are. As you can see, they've been trained in Tunis, a known Al Qaeda stronghold. And uh, don't let these guys fool you by the dumb look on their face. Because I can tell you right now, they're master of disguises. I have them in disguise here. Yeah, nope, wrong one. Uh, this is when they were probably in Al-Qaeda training in the desert here. In Tunisia, I guess, 1,500 miles. Or they were somewhere in that area. Here. And we have them here uh, disguised as New York police officers. And uh, so we know that they're master of disguises and uh, incredibly intelligent in espionage and uh, spy tactics from around the world. Now, I got to tell you, um, 911, what has it meant to me? Well, when 911 first happened, I remember everything I was doing that day. We were, I was working at the UPS buildings, I was a contractor. And during that time, the economy was pretty fucked up. And I was, we were closing a lot of buildings, a lot of people moving to Mexico. But it really increased after 9-11, the exodus out of America to the Chinese and other third world countries with our manufacturing. And of course, I became homeless, lost job, and hundreds of people that I know. And I had the same thing happen. We have 55 empty homes in my neighborhood. The economy's in the shitter. George Bush robbed the Social Security of $2.3 to pay for some wars, and nobody ever paid that back. They thought the wars would somehow pay for themselves. But they're asking for more money for more war and the battle cry ten years later is well the battle cry we're either with Obama or we're against Obama now not everybody did horrible during these wars a lot of people did really well and if if you had investments especially war investments and if you had inside information especially of how many wars how many missiles and all that we're gonna be buying which company is gonna be producing them you made a million dollars Yep. Some people made out during the wars here. Some people made tons of money. This is the gang leader here. He made the most, and he took the two trillion from the uh, from the uh, Social Security fund, of course. And then, you know, some people just made out like bandits, evil people, people that it's hard to believe that this just wasn't constructed somehow. The, I mean, the very people that caused it made out like bandits and look the economy is in the shitter I'm telling you it's not gonna get any better the entire world is exploding now I don't know and we've lost rights let's see I've, we've lost our freedom of speech a lot of it we've lost we're really scrutinizing our freedom to bear arms our fourth amendment the freedom of privacy of course we have cameras freaking everywhere I mean you can't go anywhere without having a, ca without having a camera and some TSA guy breathing down your throat ready to stick his arm up your ass you know something um these wars aren't about freedom, these wars are about making money. And um, this 9-11 thing, I gotta tell you, it's hard to believe that, um, that it could be some kind of big conspiracy, but you really have to watch this guy, Anonymous Truther, too. Um, he's putting up a lot of videos. I don't know where this guy's from. A group of people, I don't know, who, really really good quality videos. And um, go to him, he does. He did a movie about 9-1-1, it really explains the uh, the photographs, how they changed, and, and a lot of the th things that were going on, the missile strikes, that you know, just just incredible, just a lot of misinformation, a lot of propaganda, and you know, nobody's really right. So much false information is thrown out there that nobody will ever know, and that's it's confusion, it's chaos. And who's the author of confusion? Yeah, right, Satan, God of this world. Well, that's what happened, and that's what 9/11 means to me. It's sad that people had to die. It said that we had to kill a million and something Iraqis. At least that's that's the ones we count. Now, many times when these giant bombs go off, you, you, people are just vaporized from hundreds of yards around. So, we probably a lot more, probably more than two, two and a half million area. And I'd say about the two, same in Afghanistan, and plus other countries that we just bombed for the hell of it. And then if you look at the Americans that have committed suicide, the uh, 18 service members a day committing suicide, 18 veterans rather a day committing suicide. I mean, the, the stack of bodies are just stacked up to the freaking moon. That's what's happened. That's what 9-11 has meant, meant to me. Very, very sad day. 
Very sad day in American history. Very sad day in the world history. And 911 continues because look what's going on around us. Duck out.